Hello and welcome to a Mitsubishi Electric Quick Tips video. Today we're going to talk about how to clear a multi-CPU error on a Mitsubishi control system. On a motion controller you'll easily see the message with the seven segment LED display blinking AL three times and then you'll see A13012. In order to find out exactly what error you're receiving it's important to go into each of the respective softwares and monitor the system. For the motion controller, you can go to Online, Monitor, Motion CPU Error Batch Monitor. Here you can see 3012. And here's the corrective action. It says to make sure you match the CPU settings. Now on the PLC side, in order to determine what error you're receiving, you go to PLC Diagnostics. Now here you'll see you have a parameter error. To find out more information, you can click on Error Help. And here again, it will mention you have a multiple CPU system configuration problem. So we need to take a closer look at the multiple CPU settings. Now in a motion controller, the way you can do that is by clicking on the basic settings area over here. Now here you can see I have multiple CPU setting tab. Everything in this window needs to match exactly what's in the PLC parameter settings. So for example, we have number of CPU is 2. We have all stations stopping on the error of CPU number 2. And then for the refresh settings, we have nothing in either one of these tabs. And then also for the multiple CPU synchronous startup settings, we have both CPUs starting at the same time. So now we need to make sure these match on the PLC side. So we can go ahead and open up the parameters and go to the multiple CPU setting tab. Here we have CPU count 2 and host station, no specification is fine, but now here you can see our first inconsistent parameter. This needs to be checked. Also, none of these are set to start synchronously, so we're going to set both of them. And lastly, over here you can see there's nothing specified for those high-speed memory sharing sections. So we're going to select this button here that then allows us to go in and see the same view that the motion controller allowed us to. Now it's very important to note that the older Q-series programmable logic controllers did not have this multiple CPU high-speed transmission area. The IQ platform does include this. So it's important when you're using an IQ motion controller, such as the one I have here, to make sure that you check this box. Although these settings are not included in the motion controller, it's a good idea to check these um, to see if these are something that you'd be interested in using. So after you make sure that all settings are configured exactly the same as they are in the motion controller, you can do a check to make sure there are no errors, and then you can do select end. Make sure to select end. If you don't select end, this will not save your parameters. So select end, and then the next thing you want to do is write those parameters to the controller. Select Parameter Program, and then Execute. And this will overwrite the existing file in, in the PLC, and then finish the operation. Now another way to do this, and a, and a very nice way to do this, is to save your PLC project. And then from in within the motion controller, you can import multiple CPU parameter settings. This will override all settings to match those of the PLC. This is a very good method. Um, you do not need to export the parameter settings from the PLC. All you need to do is save the project. Just to give you an example, if I select this button, Import Multiple CPU Parameter, I can browse to the project. So I would go to the PLC project that I've saved, select OK, drill down into the file structure, find the project, say Open, and then I would select yes. This would overwrite all the settings. And once you've completed that, go ahead and hold your PLC switch, run stop switch all the way to the left for two seconds in the reset position, and then put it back into run. That will clear the system out, the errors will go away, or you could reset the power to the entire rack. Thanks a lot for listening. Stay tuned for more Quick Tips videos.